I'm here with more World Cup and this time we got Pearl vs ABR and there's a rematch that played already in round 1 where ABR brought a stall and Pearl brought rain but this time Pearl uh, brought <laughs> overall veil with Mega Gallade and ABR brought like a bulky offense type of team this is uh He has three potential scarfers, but I'm. <laughs> is this scarf one or is he scarf to rag? I don't think he's scarf Gengar. Um, Rock Skull Fable. I'm pretty sure this is either this is either FTV move or scarf. Like I don't think this this is rocks. This is this could be specs or Z move. I don't think this is scarf. Huh. Pearl is on the alt, but uh, yeah, at first I wasn't sure if this is for World Cup, but it is. This is pretty interesting, Mega Galate Veil. That Galate puts in a lot of work, especially behind screens. So he leads with Galate, pretend, what do you predict? So this, this probably has Gunk Shot. If you, if you let with it, because then it can beat the uh, nine tails one on one. Uh, Galad can probably eat anyone here, then just go for uh, this. Could, this might just be scarf, and he might use it out. But I think this. Oh, man, what what would this game ninja be? I think it's uh, Life Orb Ninja and Scarf Terrakion, but I'm not 100% sure. So you can just go for... Um, wait, did he SD up or is he just went for CC? So ABR just went for Spikes and lost his Greninja turn 1. So it was... Yeah, either Life Orb or Scarf, probably Life or... So that was a bit weird. I mean, this, the spike is here to stay and hits like uh, 5 out of the 6 members. Uh, but still. Just threw his Greninja away. Um, I guess he decided, yeah, the spike is more important. Like, he didn't have anything to Oko Galate, I'm pretty sure, like I said. So I went into uh, uh, Clefable, which is like his best check to Galate, especially when Galate doesn't have an SD up. And he's gonna get up the overall veil, Oko for Hypnosis. And ABR has up all his hazards now. Uh, rocks and spikes. Yeah, I'm thinking this was yes, like life up or expert build. He misses Hypnosis, which definitely sucks, but it's 60% accuracy is Hypnosis. What can you do? So it's probably gonna try again to put something to bed. And. How can Pearl win this game? Um, definitely, sh this is definitely Z move Lando or Majorna. We will see now if it's leftovers or Z move. I think this might be leftovers, and the Lando is probably Z move. We do see it's leftovers Majorna as expected. Lando is gonna be Z move. Uh, there's probably gonna be a Guavberry Zygarde that's uh, pretty common on our raw veil teams. Uh, this obviously light clay, so you have eight turns of screens. So there's gonna be the call mine bolt beam set most likely with shift gear. It could also be packing a flash cannon over ice beam. I see that set sometimes, but on the left, I was very uh, most of the time I see bolt beam shift gear call mine. But he brought his in on Fable, which makes me think that he might have flash cannon. So maybe I shot Mumbas and rocks. His other moves are gonna be softballed. And then it's either um, T Wave knockoff or Command in the last slot. ABR is taking his time here, so um, he might either scout for. Yeah, exactly. What, wait, okay, then I'll expect to go to Rakion. I expected him to go Tangrowth there. So, yes, um, I think this is t Scarf to Rakion. Yeah. Earthquake does absolutely nothing behind Veil, vale, but he gets off another hit. Because this only this doesn't have yeah this is just a bulk beam set. This doesn't have a flash can. Uh, 
And he gets a freeze, which definitely sucks, because now he gets by leftovers. And he- oh, this sucks a lot, because now he can go for a uh, command again, or shift gear. And he can take advantage of the freeze, we will shall see if he will take advantage, that definitely sucks. Mm, I can understand why ABR wanted to keep his tankers healthy, because the uh, Zygat in the back is definitely a threat. Fable has to be kept healthy to check the Galate now that I look at it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like... How long am I awake? I'm like 22 hours awake, so if my nurse is... Dong, that's... <laughs> that's my excuse. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like... Um, Zemo Lando With Rocks SD and uh, Smackdown. And uh, not Smackdown. Yeah, it could be SmackDown without SD. But he goes for Shift Gear, taking advantage of the freeze, definitely. I mean, he could have left another Earthquake, even if it thought. Behind our Raw Veil and with a Calm Mind, Gengar is uh, gonna do absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a Z move Gengar. Like, I don't really see his other Z move user, unless the Greninja was the Z move user. Uh, Celestia has his other potential Z move user, but this should be this should be Spidef Celestia. He needs some sort of defensive backbone. Like this is his defensive core D three months, and that's just what I'm thinking. Um, like sometimes you um, you see offensive Celestia sometimes, but definitely not on. I don't think on this team it would be offensive. So yeah, I'm thinking this is Z move. We shall see if I'm correct. Uh, the Pants of Ice Beam 2 kills Gengar plus 1. If Pulse plays Calm Mind again or just attack. But yeah, definitely 2 kills and it doesn't Oko at plus 2, I don't think. Uh, it's a roll at 2 Oko, so you might Calm Mind again and then go for a roll. I mean, he gets revenge. Oh no, he doesn't get revenge because he froze the Terrakion. I was about to say he gets revenge by Terrakion anyway, but he just froze that. Never mind. Um, yeah, my Jenna might just win the game here. <laughs> if Terrak was the uh, Scarf, um, like I'm thinking it is, it's kind of obvious, right? Like, you would, you, I don't think he would run Earthquake on a Z move Terrakion. Yeah. Definitely was scarf to Rakion. Unless he's double he's definitely nah he's not double scarf. Does ha this has to be Z move for specs. And how much does Z move that how much does Z move do? Oh Z Z Shadow Ball might actually kill, wow. You do a plus one speed death. Yeah, never any night make oh I forgot about Aurora Veil. Yeah, never never mind. <laughs> Aurora Veil is up. I was just talking about this. Yeah, this is definitely not killing. I don't know what drugs I'm on. Uh, yeah, I just said I didn't sleep. Yeah, I think Majuna might. Yeah, Majuna just wins this game, right? Because ABR's timer is going down, so ABR is the one thinking here. Like, even if the Majuna doesn't win, it will weaken um, ABR's team to the point where if it weakens the Tangrowth afterwards, then the Zygat can go in, potentially. Or if he weakens the Soul Stealer. That is also nice for the Greninja, potentially. He does comment again, so he does decide to go for the roll. Uh, so unless ABR gets a crit here, he's all upon that did nothing. And he wait. Yeah, see, he was Z move Gengar as expected. So Z focus blast for Heatran and for what else? Oko's Tyranza, Heatran, what else? Z focus been just about that thing. Yeah, Majuna just wins the game unless he crits. Because now he gets. Um, he can Oko the Gengar now. And then he gets a Soul Heart boost. And I think his best play is probably going for T Bolt. Because if Ice Beam gets disabled, nah, it doesn't matter. Because if Ice Beam gets disabled, uh, Tangrus can eat T Bolt, and if T Bolt gets disabled, potentially by um, the Cursed Body, 
Then I think the Celestia might eat Ice Beam. If it's Spit Death, it should eat Ice Beam. Yeah, so I, he will just attack. Oh, wait, he's really getting greedy. Well, if he gets crit here, this is gonna be Justice Ray here because he got frozen with the Storak. But yeah, now Majuna will sweep. Like, the. Yeah, yeah, this game is over. So Majuna showing once again why it's broken. Behind Auroraville, it can uh, set up easily, obviously, but they really sucked. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this game because. Like, I mean, Juna's super good in this meta game, we all know it's like one of the best top three mons, but like Lando T and Greninja, or like some people say Lando T and Juna are the best mons at the moment. I'm just gonna drop to an Ice Beam, and yeah, the last two mons in uh, Cloth Fable and Celestia will also drop to Ice Beam or T Bolt, doesn't really matter. Um, Celestia obviously will drop to T Bolt, and US East was up 3 0 before this, now it's uh, 3 and 1. Paul was playing for Team Europe, maybe I was playing for US East. Uh, so, you, uh, Europe is not out of it yet. I didn't even talk about the matchup thingy much. Basically, East has to win uh, three more out of the next uh, six games, and East has to. Uh, Europe has to win. Wait, how many games are left? Six games are left. Europe has to at least win four games to make it uh, to have a chance for a tie break, or they have to win five more games to win World Cup. But it's still in East favor. Um, I think the ADV game is next. Badass vs. Week Three Kings and Maman Sawe is probably is currently sleeping, and I don't know ADV. So unless Maman Sawe decides to jump at the call, I'm probably not gonna record that. And yeah, like. The hack is obviously sucked, but like in my current state where I'm so tired, I'm not really trying to figure out if it was... Like I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out if it was game deciding. Like, the only thing that... Yeah, I think Abby had a good chance of winning this. Like Land Lando T could have put in some work with the Z-move. Like, I think it's the smackdown of Quick Set with Z move and rocks. At one point, I thought it was SD, but like, I'm not 100% sure. But it's probably smackdown set to break the Celeste Dealer. Like, I can see Paul putting in, could have put in some work, but like, his Majuna definitely wouldn't have swept. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's probably a bit irritating. I can't think clearly. Thank you for watching. I think ABS record in World Cup is like Oh I'm not really sure it's like three and two before this game. Was it three and two before this game? I don't really remember, but it's, if it's three and two before this game it's obviously three three now. And Paul's record was I think positive, but I just don't know the exact number. It's actually for more games. Thank you for watching. And yeah, this was a bit awkward because like this was a hexy game. And yeah, I'm just really tired and can't think clear. And at least I got the sets correct. Like I, I kind of knew it was Z move Gengar. Like last time I predicted Z move Gengar, people, uh, someone told me that. Why did you think it was Z move Gengar? Specs is when Scarf is more common. Like I, I don't know. Like makes a lot of sense to me. It was Z move as, as on this team. Nothing against you, my guy. <laughs> Nothing against you, my guy. If you're watching this, holy shit. But like. Like, my narration might not always be the best, but I think I do a decent job at, like, um, predicting these uh, movesets most of the time, yeah. And goodbye.